Hi, uh, Lasa Terekadna from Retnotronics channel here. I am an electronics design and development engineer currently based in New Zealand. When I have spare time, I am also a maker because it is cool to make new stuff. I have designed many PCBs using Altium Designer. Let's open up Altium and have a look at some of those PCBs in 3D view. This is a 3D view of a Wi-Fi temperature meter I did a while ago. Here is another PCB. This is a GPS and GSM module based on SIM868 module. And this one is a PCB for a smart tracking solution, which makes use of free tracking software available on web. Out of many PCBs I have done in Altium, my favorite one, which will feature in this video, is Chameleon Hybrid NeoPixel Controller. Let's have a look at it in Altium. Here you can see the 3D view of the pixel controller. Altium Designer has a long list of cool features which will help designers or makers to design PCBs efficiently. In this video, I will quickly go over three features which help me to design this pixel controller efficiently. One of the main challenges I had when making this PCB was to limit the number of components on the board. This change not only made the PCB footprint smaller, it also helped to make the pick and place process or the SMT process relatively cheaper. In order to do this, I had to substitute most of the 0603 assembly resistors with one or more 0402 resistor arrays which took less space. 0402 resistor arrays for me means a new footprint creation. Sometimes creating new footprints which you don't have in front of your eyes is challenging. This is where Altium's IPC footprint wizard comes handy. It is a tool for new component creation. Select the appropriate footprint from the list and enter all the dimensions referring to the data sheet of the component and you can create new footprint for the given component within a matter of minutes. The second feature I'm going to talk about is also my favorite tool in Altium. It is none other than the auto router in Altium. Once you have placed your components on the PCB, choose auto routing strategy and click route all. Altium will route the board according to the PCB rule specified. I was able to route this particular board in less than one minute using this feature. This is one of the many features which can save you a lot of time in board designing. Last but not least, feature I'm going to talk about is embedded board panelized feature in Altium. More often than not, panelizing PCBs very important as it increases the efficiency and speed of the SMT or pick and place process. Altium's built-in panelizing feature helped me to panelize my PCBs with minimum effort. This is a great feature Altium has which most of the other PCB designing softwares lack. Now let's look at the final product design in Altium. Chameleon Pixel Controller is a hybrid controller as it can control new pixels from files either in SD card or in the flash memory. This controller has up to 384 megabit of flash memory which enables it to play large design files. Using Chameleon Pixel Controller is easy. Design your files using any of the free softwares given, connect NeoPixel strips or strings to the controller, copy the SD card with generated design files, insert the SD card to the controller and power up the controller to play your designs. If the same design files are to be copied to the flash, insert the SD card and power up the controller while pressing the switch. The controller will copy the design files from the SD card to the onboard flash. Once copying is done, 
remove the SD card to play the design files from onboard flash memory. At the moment, I can access Altium at work and I, I enjoy working with it. However, as a maker, I will be privileged to have my own Altium license. Uh, thank you Altium for considering me for the contest.